What is up you guys, Super Mix Cali, and I hope you have a wonderful day. In today's video, we are going to be doing a review on the mod controller by Mega Mods. Now this is gonna be a bit of a long video, so I'm gonna have the times right here that you can skip to. So if you're just looking for the mods, you can just go straight into the time. Now, if you're a PS4 player, don't worry, I have another video coming up, just stay tuned for that. Make sure to turn the notification bell on. This beautiful controller that I have right here in front of me is created by Mega Mods. Mega Mods is a company that's been around for eight years and has one thing in mind, and that is gamers. I do want to say that this controller was sent out to me by Mega Mods, but that's not going to be changing any of my thoughts and review. One thing that I do want to say is that this controller was built with quality in mind. I've had this controller for about three weeks now and I have not had a single problem with it. One thing that I really liked about Mega Mods is that shopping experience was completely pain free. I got done modding my controller in about 15 minutes and they have a lot of different customizations that you can do to your controller. This controller is fully, fully packed. It has 14 different mods, it has trigger stoppers, it has two buttons on the back that you can remap to any button on the front. They also have a lot of different face plates and back plates that come with grip and just regular. Anything you can think of about modding your controller, you can definitely do with Mega Mods. Due to the virus outbreak that's going on right now, the box that they get shipped on is just a regular Xbox controller box. I do wanna say that if you have never had a modded controller or anything of that sort, then it's going to take a curve to learn everything. Now, with the further ado, let's get into the juicy mods. Okay, so now we have some Modern Warfare in the back, and we're gonna be starting with the rapid fire. We're using the FR at the moment, and if you hold the trigger, it's only gonna shoot three bullets. Now, to activate rapid fire is very simple. You hold the, the mod button, this red button in the back is going to be referred as the mod button. So you hold that one and then hit the trigger, right trigger. And then you're going to have a red dot that's going to be on your mod LED display. Now, if we just hold the trigger, it's just going to keep on shooting. Same thing with your secondary. As long as it's a semi-automatic or a burst fire, you should be good on using rapid fire. Now, the rapid fire has six sub modes that you can change to. The first is just going to be five shots per second. The second one is going to be eight shots per second. And the third one is going to be 11 shots per second. Now, to navigate through the sub modes, you hold the mod button on the back. It's a red button. And then the trigger for three seconds. And then the mod it will flash. And then... To go forwards, you hit the right trigger. To go backwards, you hit the left trigger. Now we're in second mode, sub mode. We're in third sub mode, fourth sub mode, and then fifth sub mode. It'll green. It'll have a green light, and then sixth sub mode. To confirm, you hit the button on the back, and it should be good. Now we're on the sixth sub mode. What you can do now is that you can turn your rapid fire on and off with just double tapping the Y. And then to, to indicate that your mod is still on, it will flash a red light. Now, if you hold the trigger, it'll only shoot once. But if you double tap Y, it has rapid fire. Same thing for your secondary. If you double tap, and you hold the trigger just a single shot if you double tap y rapid fire like i said from sub mode one to three it's pretty much increasing the shots per second and then from four to six is increasing the shots per second same thing as one to three but with tactical on meaning that one and four is the same thing just the difference is that on four you have tactical and on first you don't now if you want to completely turn the rapid fire off all you'd have to do is hold the mud button on the back and then press down on the d-pad and the light will be completely off okay so now let's go to the next mod the next mod is going to be auto run or auto sprint pretty much how we enable this mod is of course we hold down the mod button on the back, then the right bumper, and then the left analog stick. 
Once we've done that, a blue light will come on on the LED display. And now every time we aim, it's going to be running without me pressing down on the left analog stick. Every time we aim, it's going to be running. Now this mod has three different sub modes that you can go through. The first one is going to be, of course, just, just aim and then it's going to be running by itself. The second one is going to be doing the same thing, but it's going to in a, do an additional jump and slide if you like to. The third one, instead of me running, is going to be sprinting. Well, I'll be showing you here in a second. Now to navigate through the sub modes, pretty much we're going to hold the mud button and then the right bumper along with the left analog stick for three seconds it'll flash and then you know navigate through the sub modes pressing down the right trigger or the left trigger to go back right trigger to go forwards left trigger to go back we're gonna go all the way to number three and then confirm with the mud button on the back now we're on sub mode three now every time we aim it's going to auto sprint now to turn it off, you hold the mod button on the back and then press A and then it will be off. Okay, so now this is one of my favorite mods. It's the auto heal. Pretty much what it does, it heals you with you pressing X instead of the left bumper. So to activate it, you hold the mod button on the back, then right bumper, left bumper, and then the LED will pop up. This mod offers three sub modes that you can go through. Pretty much the first and second one you can use a multiplayer and the third one is mainly for blackout so i won't be able to show you that one in here okay so we're in the first sub mode i'm going to be shooting a little bit to show you the action of it so every time you press x it won't automatically reload it will heal you and then you have to press double tap x for it to actually reload now to navigate through the sub modes all you have to do is press the mod button on the back right bumper left bumper for three seconds it'll flash and then you press the right trigger to go forwards left trigger to go backwards like always so we're gonna go to the second sub mode and then press the mod button on the back now this is my all-time favorite because let's say you shot and you're hurt it'll heal you first and then it'll actually reload for you without you doing anything now to explain what the third sub mode does it's pretty much it will hold down the left bumper for you whenever you are in blackout so i can't show you that at the moment so i'm just telling you what it would do now to turn this mod off pretty much the same thing as the last one you hold the mod button on the back and press a and it'll turn it off now this is the last mod that I'll be showing you guys how to do in this video. If you'd like to, me to show you guys how to do all 14, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be more than glad to. Now to turn it on, you hold the mod button on the back. And then to turn it off, you can either press X or A to turn it off. And there you go. This mod is a bit complicated, so I'll do my best to unexplaining. This mod offers 10 sub modes. In each sub mode, there is either a gun or a class that you can use. For example, for the first sub mode, it's for the AK-47. I'll show you guys the whole action, and then I'll show you guys how it looks whenever you have the mod on. You see how it didn't finish the action? Let's do that one more time. The whole action, it takes about four seconds. And then whenever you have the mod on, it won't do the whole action. Now, like I said, this mod offers 10 sub modes onto it. We are on the first sub mode and it all depends on the delay unit. I'll have a little chart on the side so you can kind of see which gun will fit in which sub mode. So you can kind of have a visual. For example, we're still on sub mode one. I'm going to change my layout into a different gun. So on this class, I have the Kilo and the M4. So if we turn on reload, which either or it won't let you because you're not onto the ride sub mode now to navigate through the sub modes pretty much you, you what you do is hold the mud button on the back and then hold x for three seconds it'll flash let go and then you press the trigger the right trigger to go forwards and then the left trigger to back go backwards and then you confirm with pressing the mud button on the back now that we are on sub mode 2 
in it's in the category where the kilo and the m4 are in so it will actually reload the whole clip but if we go back to sub mode one and we shoot it won't do it unless you're completely empty but like I said, I'll have a chart on the side so you can see which gun fits in which sub mode. Now to turn it off, you hold the mud button on the back and then press X or A. Now if you want to factory reset your controller, all you have to do is hold the mod button on the back, tap the sync button on top of your controller, then it will flash white, hold the view button, and then down on the D-pad. It'll flash rapidly, meaning that all the mods are completely clear of your controller. So now this is my honest review about this controller, and I'm not going to be saying anything nice because I have to or any of that. But I truly, truly like this controller a lot. I have not had a single problem in almost three weeks that I've had this controller for. Everything works like it should. All the mods are extremely helpful in-game. Even if you don't want to use mods in game, you can modify your controller in a different way. You can have hair trigger stoppers, you can have remappable buttons at your fingertips, you can have grips on the back, you can change the faceplate of your controller, you can change the buttons, the analog sticks, the D-pad to an elite D-pad on Mega Mods. Anything you can think of modifying your controller, you can do with Mega Mods. If you're thinking about buying a modded controller, I highly suggest you look into Mega Mods. Mega Mods it has an extremely great customer service and the webpage, they have tons of different controllers out there for you. If you are going to make a purchase with Mega Mods, please make sure to use code MEXI for its 15% off your whole purchase. So that was it for this video guys. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done that already. Also turn on the notification bell on and it'll alert you whenever I put up a video. This was your boy Mexicali and I'll see you guys on the next one.